little bit of a different video this week. I'm going to be giving you a little bit of a lab tour because in the UK we don't have basements, not normally anyway, um, so space is at a premium and a lot of people have been asking me how I set up an at-home cosmetics lab in such a small space. So I'm going to go through how I do that and I'm also going to show you how I clean and sterilise and sanitise all my equipment. So I start over here under the window, I have sort of a corner desk, so I have my um, computer for editing um, and printer. I've got another colour laser down there, um, my, um, what are they called? Thermal label printer for things, um, and then iPad and various bits and pieces of filming and then my editing laptop which was my husband's old gaming laptop um, but it's the fastest thing we've got for editing so I use that and then I can just you know go between the two that works quite well a little paperwork thing there this is the shrink wrap station so this is where I'll shrink wrap all of my products and then below it is my uh, hazmat bins that's just for anything that uh, needs disposing of in a certain way. I fill those bins and then I book a collection with, I think it's Priority Waste in the UK. It's not cheap, <laughs> I'll tell you that now, um, but there is some waste that you cannot put in general rubbish, so you have to use those. And then that's my main sort of formulating weighing station, so uh, spoilers there a little bit, <laughs> but yeah that's where I um, will heat things and weigh things and all sorts. Microwave down there if I need it, gloves, respirator, um, thermometer, things like that. This is, I'll show you later, part of my sanitising station. This includes all the dirty washing up which go in a washing up bowl at the bottom. And then if we move over here I now have a central lab table and in this I have all of my boxes and this is sterilised equipment and jars and containers and everything. This is all ready to use, it's all clean, it's all been sterilised and sanitised. My camera tripod. Over here I have my ingredients. This is mostly what I use for YouTube and I've organised it, I think I've shown you that before. So I've gone through that and got rid of out of date things and stuff like that. Got a few more down there. My soap cutter station. And then come round here. And then this shelving unit is going to be mostly for finished products um, and also probably a bit of stability testing. And then I've got bit of packaging, not as much as I need at the moment, but a little bit, and then my packaging station is there. And a ring light, and then that is the view. I mean, it's a much bigger room than I did have, um, but it's still not massive. But I can happily walk around a central table now, which makes all the difference. So if you haven't got much space, I do suggest filling around the edges and then having Sort of a central workspace especially if you're filming it it just helps loads so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to clean and sanitize all of my equipment and show you how just another quick thing to mention do make sure if you are working with things like this um, that you always have some kind of fire extinguishers and also a fire blanket I've just hooked one there and always make sure that those kind of things are in date and that you've got the right ones for the things that are in your room. So you have one for chemicals and one for electrics and things like that, just to be on the safe side. And now we come to voiceover because otherwise this would take ages. So here is all my dirty equipment from making various things. And the first thing I do is just collect them all up in this washing up bowl. And I'll just wipe up all the excess of everything because you don't want things like oils and ingredients that really shouldn't be going into the waterways to get into the waterways. So you want to just wipe everything out with paper towels, make sure everything's as clean as it can be doing that. And then you can take them to the sink and start washing them.
If you don't have a dedicated sink in your workspace, you can just use your kitchen or utility room, that's fine. Just make sure the sink is clean first and you just use normal washing up liquid and wash them as normal, rinse them off and put them back in a clean washing up bowl ready to take back into your lab room. And then once you've taken them back in there, just put them on a rack to air dry uh, because you don't want any fibres from towels to get onto the equipment because that can then transfer into products later on and you don't want that. So leave those to air dry and then we'll move on to the next stage. Next is sterilization. This is different from sanitizing your items. So to do this in the UK, I use Milton sterilizing tablets. There are others available and I believe there's some other ones on Amazon if you're in the US. For these ones, you just need one tablet per five liters of water and that can be either distilled water or water boiled from a kettle and then just let that dissolve. It doesn't take long whether the water's hot or cold, it's quite quick and swish it around, make sure it's fully in all of the water. And then you get your equipment, put it in one by one, make sure it's fully submerged. If it doesn't fully submerge, then you can always turn it over after 15 minutes and it'll do the other side of it. Put everything in there, leave for 15 minutes. You may have to do it in batches, depending on how big this is. If you've got something with a lid and you want to cover it and leave it, uh, and then come back to it then you can also do that and then we're just going to take things out one by one after the 15 minutes and again put them on our rack to air dry because we don't want any fibers in finished products later on Then if you have a sealed container you can put the lid on and keep that solution for the rest of the day but otherwise just tip it out. I like to tip it out after every use, it just makes more sense. Let's just go pour that away in the sink and then we come back and then the next stage is sanitising. Sanitising is different from sterilising because sanitising removes or basically reduces microorganisms to a safe level, whereas sterilizing removes all of the microorganisms from an item. So we sterilize everything first to make it as clean and hygienic as possible. And then before we use it, we just want to sanitize to make sure we've got absolutely everything. And also we sanitize our work surfaces like I do here, just to make sure your work area is nice and clean. And before I pack away or use any beakers or equipment, I always spray that with isopropyl and let that air dry as well. And that is how I clean and sanitize and sterilize all of my equipment. So I hope you found that helpful. I'm going to be doing quite a few collaborations coming up. So I've got some really exciting videos for you, which I hope you enjoy. Um, they'll be a lot better than this one because there is a bit of an editing learning curve with this new camera and software. Um, but I hope you'll find my videos getting better. And if there's anything you want me to cover, then leave it in the comments. Um, until the next video, please do subscribe. And if you want to join my Patreon and get the exclusive content, etc. The link is below and I'll see you in the next one.